Hi everyone, I'm Josiah, a 3D character artist, and I'm here to showcase my space pirate creature character from the Extra Mile course. Coming into the course, I wanted to create a character that would fit in the same universe as Kudu, the clever repairer that Pablo Munoz Gomez created for the course. This meant that I had to achieve a realistic style of sculpting in ZBrush, texturing in Substance Painter, posing in Character Creator 4, which I'll be showcasing in this video. Heavily referencing the 2D concept created for my pirate, I started with a blockout prioritizing the character's silhouette using ZBrush sculpting tools. I've tried to deviate in some areas, like replacing the jacket with a half cape for a more roguish feel. I extracted many of the clothes and accessories, and used Z Remesher and Z Modeler together to create very clean details. I've also used a lot of sci-fi kit bash assets to enhance my character's costume. Here's a quick time lapse of Pablo sculpting over my character's head as part of a live feedback session from the Extra Mile course. Here's the final result of my zebra sculpture. Before importing our character into CC4, we need to ensure the 3D model has proper topology for animation. I used Z Remesher to obtain low poly sub tools for my character which I then took into Maya to further reduce the quad count by deleting more edge loops and UV unread my meshes in Maya. I used Marmoset 2 back 4 for baking because I can manually paint the offset and skew of the cage itself to remove baking errors. The more tedious step is to manually rename all of the baked maps to their corresponding UDIMs for a substance painter to recognize properly. To make the texturing phase easier for me, I assigned two materials for the character in Maya. One material for the jacket, and another material for the rest of the character. This is so I can hide the jacket layer in substance painter and properly texture the materials underneath the jacket. To achieve a realistic look, I reference in real life clothing and creature skin to replicate the intricate details like dirt on clothing or wrinkles and scars on the skin. To make the texturing phase a lot easier, I used many smart materials that I've collected over the years from high quality packs by many artists. For the skin, I used the creature skin smart material that Pablo provided in the Extra Mile course. It contains a lot of settings like veins, skin color variation and bumps. To export my model from ZBrush to Character Creator 4, we need two plugins. The post link for CC4 and post tools for ZBrush. Rigging in CC4 is a very simple step-by-step -step process which I'll show. Once we get the model in, I hit the jacket to simplify joint placement and set the joints to a tiptoeing position for the unique legs. I then generated a three fingered skeleton and placed the joints appropriately. Afterwards, I selected the meshes that need to deform during animation, leaving others non selected as non bending accessories. I then pressed bind skin, which may take some time depending on mesh density, and performed the post test to ensure correct deformation and joint movement. After just 10 minutes of work, I end up with a fully rigged character ready for posing. For this character, I'll be using the Orc animation pack because it has a barbaric personality which fits the space pirate. I explored all the animations and narrowed it down to a frame and further edited that pose to my liking. I pressed record new post in the post tools plugin before sending the mesh over to ZBrush. And since I didn't bring the arm blade to CC4, 
I can adjust it in its layer in ZBrush. Alternatively, I can bring the Unblade to CC4 as an accessory there and pose it. Once I'm back into ZBrush, I can easily correct errors by pressing the Edit Current Pose button and using the Move Brush and Masking. This feature is very useful when weight painting gets too tedious in CC4 or simply exaggerating some shapes of your character. Thanks to Pose Tools plugin in ZBrush, you can store as many poses as you like within a single Z tool. Because of how quickly I could make new poses with CC4, I made 5 poses to showcase the character's sneaky but aggressive personality. In ZBrush, I used the T-Pose Mesh feature to edit multiple subtools at a time. This is especially useful for the jacket as it bends awkwardly in some areas. Using facial references, I also gave my character some expressions like anger where the eyebrows are furrowed, nostrils are flat and the jaws clenched. What I like about CC4 is that it includes a wide variety of hand signs and gestures, so it's a massive time saver for me. Looking back, these 5 poses took me about half a day to complete, even if I had to manually touch up some meshes that were deforming or overlapping incorrectly. Once I'm satisfied with the poses that I got, I exported the entire model from ZBrush and brought it into Maya to assign unique materials to each UDIM because Mamu said does not support UDIMs at the moment. After assigning unique materials, I export the whole model into Marmoset 2 x 4 for lighting and rendering. The quickest but most important part of the character creation workflow is lighting and rendering. This is because beauty shots elevate the quality of your portfolio. The best method is 3 point lighting, which can be achieved by using a combination of a HDRI and multiple point lights. To easily adjust the point lights, I simply selected the light into the viewport so I can move them like a camera. I suggest using no more than 2 or 3 point lights on top of your HDRI because lighting can look artificial very quickly the more lights you use in your scene. After that, I imported the raw renders into Photoshop and added a high pass filter and used overlays to brighten important areas like the character's face. This will make your images stand out among other character artists' portfolios. This concludes my showcase on my space pirate creature character. I would like to thank Reillusion for recognizing this character and giving me an opportunity to showcase my workflow for him. I hope you found my workflow helpful for your own character creation journey. Thanks a lot.